Well, well, well. Here we are again. First of all, I want to say thank God that football is back. The NFL is back. And last year, last season, I started doing this in the middle of the season. Somewhat in the middle of the season, like the beginning. So this year, I'm going to catch it at the beginning of the season and throughout the season. I'm going to keep it going. But this is officially the pilot. The first episode. This is officially the first episode of Let's Talk Football. I have the Let's Talk Wrestling. This is Let's Talk Football. Now, just like on Let's Talk Wrestling, now for the most part, it's been about WWE. But any time in the future, it probably could be about other wrestling companies. So with the Let's Talk Football, it's mostly probably going to be about the Carolina Panthers because that is my team. But... I am going to leave room for other things to talk about other than the Panthers. You know, if I have other people on here and they want to talk about, I don't know, the Dolphins, the Steelers, the Cowboys, anybody. That's what we can talk about. This is Let's Talk Football. But for the most part, I am going to be on here talking about the Carolina Panthers and their season and their games and whatever's going on with them. Now, this episode, you know, this Thursday is going to be the start of the regular season. The Carolina Panthers won't play until Sunday. And our first game is against the Falcons. That is our opener on the road. But... Looking back at the preseason games, I ain't gonna lie to you, it was a little, I mean, it's preseason for a reason, bars, but you still, no matter what, you still want your team to do good. You want your team to, to set the tone for, for the regular season. You want them to go out there and, and win. And build that momentum into the regular season. Our first game wasn't that. Now, we drafted Bryce Young first round overall. Quarterback from Alabama. And at first, you know, everybody was worried about his size, including me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, man, if our O line can't protect, then he's gonna get smashed. But after watching him and seeing him play in in college, I mean, we'll probably be okay. I'm I'm a little bit more comfortable now with him. Uh, like I said, we saw him play that first game. He played like. I don't know, one or two series, I think. And I think that was just to break him in and get him comfortable. I'm going to tell you, he wasn't comfortable that, well, from what I saw. Like, it wasn't – that wasn't comfortable. But the second game and the third game, oh, he started getting comfortable then. So I was glad. I was happy to see that. Um, but our O-line, man, our O-line's got to protect him, like, at all costs. If our O line can't protect our quarterback and Bryce Young, then what chances do we have at having a successful season? That's, I mean, this is just facts. Now we um, we sent PJ Walker and we sent uh, DJ Moore and Deontay Foreman to Chicago Bears. They all went, all three of them went to the Bears. We brought in Andy Dalton 
and I've, I've mentioned all this before in a video, Andy Dalton, you know, at first you're like, why? But he's a veteran. He's been in it for a while. You know, he's been with the Bengals. I think he's been with the Cowboys. I can't remember who else he's been with. I want to say the Saints, but I'm not sure. I can't remember, but um, I'm, I'm okay with Andy Dalton. Now, what I don't understand is that we, we got rid of Matt Corral. He was a pretty solid third-string quarterback. I don't understand why the Panthers got rid of him. So, as of now, we only have two quarterbacks. I don't know what they plan. I, I would think they would bring in a third-string quarterback. But, uh, now, I do not think I touched on this. We got Adam Thielen. I have always been a fan of Adam, of Adam Thielen when he was with the Vikings, and now we have him on the pen. I think that is big. If you're going to replace DJ Moore or anybody, he's one of the guys, in my opinion. That was before Justin Jefferson. That was the Vikings number one, That, in my opinion. And then... They picked up Hayden Hurst. I was like, whoa. Okay. I see what y'all doing here. I see what you're doing. And then, you know, they got rid of Dante, uh, Deontay Foreman. And I'm like, well, pff. he was solid. I like Deontay Foreman. He played with aggression. He could run. He was strong. So I'm like, now what? Then they picked up Miles Sanders from the Philadelphia Eagles, the team that was in the Super Bowl last year. Okay. So we got him, Chuba Hubbard, and Blackshear, I think that's his name. I'm like, okay. We're building a pretty good offense here. And then from the Lions, we got DJ Chark. I was like, wow, okay. And then we picked up Mingo in the draft. So in my opinion, our offense is solid. We just need the defense to be solid. We have a Number one overall quarterback who won a championship in college. We have so many receivers. We have a pretty decent running back room. We just need the O-line and the defense to step it up about two notches. And I think we have a chance. In my opinion. <laughs> now. On that defensive side. I'm going to tell you my favorite player. My favorite, especially defensive player. Frankie Luvu. That is my favorite player. He grown on me. Uh, he's my favorite. Definitely favorite defensive player. And probably my favorite player on the team. Frankie Lubu. Now, today, I saw that it's been said that Brian Burns may not play against the Falcons on the opener. Contract issues. If y'all don't pay that man, whatever he won't. Because we can't. We can't lose Brian Burns. We can't. That is. That's a key. To our defense. We can't lose that man. Pay that man. I think I saw that he was supposed to be getting like 16 million dollars or something like that. Get, get that man 20. <laughs> 
we can't lose Brian Burns, man. So, I mean, like I like I just said, that defense has got to be has got to be good. It's got to be more than good. That defense has got to step it up two notches along with the O line, and I promise you. We will be back in the Super Bowl, and we will win this time. We lost the first time against the Patriots in 2003, the second time against the Broncos in 2015. The next time the Carolina Panthers get to the Super Bowl, it's got to be our time. Our time. It's got to be. But we shall see. We have our first game Sunday against the Falcons. I will be watching that game, and I will be reacting to that game. I will be reacting to every game. Let's see what happens. I hope. I hope Brian. I don't. I don't think he's going to play. From what I've been reading, hopefully he does. Hopefully something happens and he does. But uh, I hope he comes to terms with a contract and he continues to play for us because he's he's like he's like our Micah Parsons on the Cowboys. He's our Micah Parsons, and we need that. We need that. But let's see. I hope Bryce Young does well for us. Uh, it looks like he will. You know, in that third preseason game, you start to see him, you know, bob and weave and shake people. That's what I want to see. And that's what he was really known for, getting out of those situations. He's slippery, man. But we're going to see. So I'm going to see y'all next time. See y'all next week. after. The Falcons and Panthers play on Sunday. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. And I'll see y'all next time.